Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So here is a question I have been getting a lot lately from project management community, okay? Ray, how are you actually using AI in your day-to-day -day project management work? And I get it, right? We are constantly hearing about how AI will revolutionize project management and eliminate project managers and so on, right? But most of the content out there is um, either too theoretical or focuses on fancy tools uh, that costs uh, thousands of dollars or maybe trying to solve something just for the sake of it. Let's be honest. Now, let me be very clear about something upfront, right? AI is not going to replace project managers, okay? You see, project management is fundamentally a soft science, right? Not mathematics or coding. It's about human relationships, emotional intelligence, stakeholder dynamics, and navigating complex organizational politics, right? AI can't negotiate with an angry client. It can't read the room during a tense steering committee meeting and it certainly cannot inspire a demoralized team to push through a challenging delivery phase, right? However, on the other side of the spectrum, what AI can really do brilliantly is to handle repetitive, data-heavy and administrative tasks that often consume 40 to 50% of our time as project managers. So for example, it can analyze patterns, generate reports, draft communications, and provide decision-making support. However, the strategic thinking, relationship building, and leadership, that is still entirely on us as project managers and will still be with us as uh, human project managers, okay? At least for now. So in this video today, I will walk you through five practical ways in which you can use AI as a project manager in your day-to-day -day life to save at least 12 to 15 hours of your weekly effort and thereby making you a more productive project manager. And it's my guarantee that if you watch this video till the end and apply even 50% of what you will learn from this video, you will be better than 99% of the project managers out there in the market. That is my vision for this video. So let's get into it. So let's start with the first way I am using AI as a project manager, meeting management and documentation. Now this is probably the most transformative application I have implemented, okay? And I'll be honest with you guys, it's also the area where AI really poses the most direct threat to certain project roles, okay? So listen very carefully. See guys, traditional meeting management used to consume hours of my team's efforts, okay? Recording discussions, transcribing key points, identifying action items, assigning owners, and then following up, right? It was a massive administrative burden, and these tasks are typically performed in the industry by roles such as project support officers or project clerks. However, with AI tools like Microsoft Copilot or uh, Otter.ai and Claude, you can revolutionize this process completely. Here is what could be an AI savvy project manager's workflow. During project meetings, uh, Microsoft Copilot or Otter.ai automatically captures everything, not just the transcription, but it identifies the speakers, extracts action items, tracks attendance, and even highlights key decisions. Within minutes of the meeting ending, you will have a structured summary out of Copilot that in a usual situation would have taken the project support officer at least two to three hours to create manually. In the next step, you then feed this input into Copilot or ChatGPT to generate polished meetings of minutes formatted according to the organizational standards with the clear action items, owners, and deadlines. The entire process would need at least two to three hours, as I was discussing, for a PSO or a project clerk, okay? And now it should not take you more than 15 minutes to do it yourself or maybe improve the productivity of your PSO or project clerk by adhering to this entire workflow, which is AI enabled. Now, here is the uncomfortable truth. Roles like uh, project support officers or project clerks 
whose primary responsibilities include meeting documentation, minutes of meeting, actions and follow-ups are genuinely at risk. These administrative functions are being automated away and organizations are starting to question whether they really need dedicated resources for these tasks. Now, I'm not saying that uh, these roles will go to zero, okay? But project teams who used to have uh, three or four project support officers to manage these kind of stuff will now be having only one PSO managing the same. So that's AI driving productivity in project management. Moving on, the second way I am using AI as a project manager, and uh, this one has been a complete game changer for me personally using AI to learn and master new project management tools, particularly MS Project and advanced Excel spreadsheet analysis. Now guys, here is the reality we all face as project managers, okay? We are constantly expected to be proficient with the multiple software tools, but uh, most of us don't have the luxury of taking formal training courses or spending weeks learning complex functionalities within these tools, right? This is where AI can become your personal tutor and coach, okay? For example, if you don't know MS Project or Microsoft Project, but you need to use it for preparing a project schedule and track the critical path, you can use Google's AI Studio as your personal tutor to help you learn this from scratch. Now, although I am quite savvy with MS Project because I'm using it for the last 10 years or so, however, time and again, I might forget a command or a shortcut or let's say a particular function within MS Project. And for these use cases, I regularly use Google's AI Studio to help me navigate the bumps. Trust me, it's a better way than just Googling the problem because uh, AI Studio can actually see your screen and your on-screen open applications via screen sharing and it can guide you real time because it can really see your cursor movements and guide you to click this button and then select this option etc etc i would recommend that there are a lot of videos on youtube on how to use google ai studio and uh, please go ahead and watch those videos to have a better understanding of the entire process with which google's ai studio works now, in a second scenario where AI really shines in data management is an Excel spreadsheet analysis. Tools like, again, Google's AI Studio or uh, Numerous.ai have revolutionized how project managers can approach data analysis. For example, with Numerous.ai, you can simply type the natural language questions like, let's say, which project phases are consistently over budget or uh, show me the resource utilization patterns across all the active projects in a spreadsheet and it will analyze your spreadsheet data instantly without you needing to remember complex uh, VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP formulas or uh, pivot table configurations within Excel. The key insight here is that while AI doesn't replace the need for you as a project manager to understand the tools fundamentally, but it can accelerate the learning process for you as a project manager dramatically. I have definitely reduced my software learning curve from months to weeks now, allowing me to focus on strategic project decisions rather than technical software limitations using the tactics which I mentioned. Now let's talk about the third way I'm using AI as a project manager and this one has literally saved a lot of my effort on multiple occasions. Using AI to quickly summarize long, okay, very long email chains and generate instant project status updates when sometimes leadership demands immediate answers. Okay, so let's work this with an example, right? Picture this scenario. You are in a steering committee meeting and uh, suddenly the sponsor asks, oh, what was the current status on the fire safety upgrades project? I've been copied on a dozens of emails this week from finance, compliance and your team. What's going on, Mr. Project Manager? Now, you know that uh, there has been a flurry of uh, email communications back and forth between contractors, facilities team and compliance officers over the last few weeks, right? Your outlook has been inundated with emails coming back and forth, but you haven't had time to digest all the details, okay? Which is very natural. This is where AI becomes your lifesaver, okay? 
So here is my actual workflow when I'm faced with such situations in real life. Firstly, when I get an email on Outlook, I categorize it as per projects, okay? This is the first crucial step. If you don't know how to categorize an email into project folders within Outlook, please go ahead and watch a few YouTube tutorials on this topic. Now, after this step, anytime anyone asks me for an update, I take those 20, 30, 40 email chains, which is now within the project folder within Outlook. And these emails might sometimes span weeks and months of back and forth discussions, right? And I take the entire dump and put it into Microsoft Copilot or ChatGPT or Claude, whichever I am using as per my organizational policy. Okay. Now, when Microsoft Copilot has the full email dump of the last 30, 40, 50 emails, which are emails, replies, reply on replies, reply on reply on replies, right? So all of them, once they go into Microsoft Copilot, I write a very simple prompt asking a project summary and status update. And within 30 seconds, I have a concise executive level summary that covers the key decisions made, outstanding issues, budget impacts, and the next steps. This works just like magic, guys. The beauty of this approach is that AI doesn't really just summarize, okay? It identifies patterns, highlights critical decisions, and extracts actionable items that might be buried in lengthy technical discussions across those email chains which you surely would have missed. This capability has really transformed how I handle stakeholder communication in my projects. Instead of spending hours manually reviewing email threads to prepare status reports, I can now provide real-time updates to leadership, making me more responsive and valuable to the organization as a project manager, right? If you are finding this video helpful, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button to this channel, PMP with Ray. It helps me to understand that you value this type of practical real world content to help you grow as a project manager. Now let's move on to the fourth way I am using AI as a project manager. And this one has completely transformed how I deliver training programs as a project manager. And that is using AI tools like Gamma and Napkin.ai to create professional looking training materials for project management concepts. You see guys, as project managers, we are often expected to conduct training sessions for our teams and stakeholders, right? Whether it's explaining the five phases of a project life cycle, demonstrating various project methodologies like agile or hybrid or waterfall, or let's say teaching concepts like lean management and Six Sigma. Creating engaging, visually appealing presentations used to consume weeks of my time as a project manager. Now here is how my old workflow used to look like, okay? I'd spend hours on Microsoft PowerPoint, manually creating bullet points, searching for relevant images on Google, struggling with smart arts to build process diagrams, and wrestling with auto shapes to create flowcharts. A simple presentation on, uh, let's say, agile risk management would take me six to eight hours to create, okay, across multiple sessions. And frankly, the results looked quite amateur or rudimentary in spite of all the effort that has gone into the presentation. However, now with tools such as Gamma AI, I can create a complete 10 to 20 slides of training presentation on agile risk management fundamentals in under 30 minutes. I simply input my topic, let's say agile project risk management for uh, cybersecurity teams. Let's say that's my topic. And within seconds, as you see on screen, Gamma generates a professionally designed presentation with the relevant content, structured flow, and beautiful visuals that would take me days to create manually, okay? Now on the other side of the spectrum where napkin.ai really shines is in creating complex diagrams and charts that explain project management concepts visually. For instance, when I needed to explain, let's say the critical path method during a recent uh, training session, I simply pasted the text explanation of critical path method into napkin.ai and it automatically generated a professional flowchart with the proper network diagrams, dependencies, and critical path highlighting, as you see on screen. 
Now what would have taken me at least one to two hours of uh, manual research and uh, text inputs and diagram creation in PowerPoint just happened in less than 60 seconds. Of course, like any other AI tool, the outputs might need a bit of refining after it has generated the first draft according to your needs, to your audience and to your organizational standards. However, I cannot really deny that Gamma and Napkin has helped me immensely to prepare professional looking training materials in lightning fast speeds. Now finally, let's discuss the fifth and perhaps the most strategic way I am using AI as a project manager and this one will probably surprise you because it's something most project managers never consider. Using AI to prepare comprehensive risk registers, executive summaries, value engineering assessments and best value option analysis. Now guys, uh, this is where AI becomes truly powerful for project management decision making, okay? However, there is a word of caution and I need to give you a critical warning up front. This strategy is completely dependent on the quality of your input data and the project context you provide into your AI platform. Now, if you feed garbage into these AI tools, needless to say, you will get garbage out, okay? Which can lead to catastrophic project decisions or complete face loss for you as a project manager in steering committee meetings. So only use this tactic if your project input data is rich and comprehensive. Now here is how I have been using this workflow successfully. For risk register development, I feed ChatGPT or Microsoft Copilot detailed project information including scope, timelines, stakeholder profiling, technical requirements and organizational constraints. For example, during one of my projects with my previous organization, I provided ChatGPT with our project charter, technical specifications, contractor profiles, and all the regulatory and legislative requirements. The AI then generated a comprehensive risk register with 47 potential risks categorized by probability and impact complete mitigation strategies and the contingency plans for each of the 47 or 48 risks that the AI identified. Now this is the perfect document for setting up your PID or the project initiation documentation as a project manager right during the initiation or the starting up stages of a project. However, the key here was providing the complete context right. I didn't just say or write on the text as a prompt that okay create a risk register for a fire safety project right because that would have been catastrophic. I provided very specific details. This is a 2.3 million fire safety upgrade project across four hospital buildings involving asbestos containing materials, 24 into 7 operational requirements, CDM 2015 and HTM compliance and a six month delivery window during winter months and I uploaded all the relevant SOPs and standards and project beef and outline business case and stakeholder profiles, okay? All of them into my initial command within the chatbot. And that is the exact level of detail what transforms a generic AI output into actionable project intelligence. That is how you use AI as a project manager. And it also can free up your time as a project manager more to focus on items which AI really cannot do, okay? Such as uh, driving alignments within stakeholders or across different departments, or let's say dealing with a difficult stakeholder or motivating a frustrated team member, right? Because these human interactions are the key deliverables of a true project manager, which at least for now, AI cannot supersede. So your goal as a project manager should be always to explore ways to become more productive with the help of AI because this is what the truth is okay AI will not replace all project managers however it will find ways to get the job of 10 project managers done by using one project manager who is super efficient super AI savvy and super productive the choice is really yours whether you want to be that project manager.